A man threatened to kill the NBA commissioner over the game of basketball. Hello and welcome to The Fumble here in LA. I'm Crystal Rich. Make sure you don't miss a beat during the NBA playoffs. Click the subscribe button below to join our notification squad and you can follow me on all social media at Crystal Rich. A lot of you probably have used the saying, by any means necessary. Well, one man took this to the extreme. According to TMZ, David Payan is a 27-year-old male from Queens, New York, who really wants to play basketball. Unfortunately, he went about it totally the wrong way. He allegedly wrote a letter to the NBA commissioner, Adam Silver, threatening to kill him. According to TMZ, the letter included, if you don't let me play, I'm going to come up there and kill you with my effing gun. Payan doesn't have any notable basketball experience on record, but according to the NY Post, he has 13 prior arrests and he served time in prison for robbery. But obviously, his plan backfired on him. According to the New York Post, he was arrested and charged with aggravated harassment because of the letter that was sent in July of 2017. He was released from jail without bail, but TMZ reports that there has been a restraining order written up to keep him away from Adam Silver. Call me crazy, but if a person has the balls to write a letter to the NBA offices saying that he shoot me, maybe a little piece of paper, AKA a restraining order, might not get the job done. Adam Silver has been the NBA commissioner since 2014 and was previously the chief operating officer for eight years. Now, I'm going to make a proposal to y'all and let me know if you like it. We all know in America it's nearly impossible to get a job if you have any type of criminal record or have served time. I'm not justifying this man at all because threatening someone with a gun because of basketball is insane. However, what if there is a national program to allow people in our society with records to play sports Sports, kind of like an intramural league with really good coaching. As someone who used to live in Brooklyn, I'm sure he was probably good at basketball, but if the park is your only basketball credit, it really can't do much for you. Team sports under good coaching does more than just allow you to get cardio. It teaches you valuable lessons like teamwork and how to handle losses. Combine it with community service, and this could be a huge business here in the States. Think about it. Some of the best ballers never make it to the league because they didn't go to college which is the main recruiting stage for the NBA. Imagine watching the best basketball, even if it's just broadcast here on YouTube, where you know these players aren't just being coached in the game, but also in life with the requirement to give back to the community with community service. Let me know if you have any better suggestions down low in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching The Fumble. I'm Crystal Rich.